I'm here to do the full review now of the Green Room 136 Rainmaker Custom. And I will tell you right from the beginning that this is a pretty awesome pack. As I said in the unboxing, it took a while for it to get here. I ordered it and then a month and a half later, it finally got to me. But I do think it was worth the wait, especially if you're a guy who has lots of backpacks anyway. It wasn't like I didn't have a backpack to use at the time. So um, here it is. Let's, let's talk about this and let me first talk about some of the things that I don't love about it and then I can get into depth about why it's such a great pack and why it works so well. Right now it's fully unpacked so I took out all the stuff that I normally use. Uh, I normally put in this thing as a daily carry. So it's empty but then I'll fill it up to show you how I take advantage of it and you can sort of use that to get a sense of how much space there is in this bag and there is a lot of space in this guy. All right, so um, it's probably slightly unzipped in so many ways, it sure is. So let me go ahead and put this guy back together again, <laughs> Humpty Dumptying it. And um, I'm gonna start off talking first about um, sort of some things that I probably would like to have had the option to do. I mean, it is a custom bag. I think that one of the things that I would have really loved to do is to have them actually customize it to remove all of these zipper covers or rain flaps, whatever you want to call them. I totally understand the utility of these. I mean, if you think about it, since this thing is covering up an area where water could get into, you're not going to be able to, water won't as easily get into the main compartment if you have all these rain covers. So you can see that I have rain covers here on, in, the two, in the main compartment, into the tech compartment into this front area as well and there's even a tiny one for the place where I put my sunglasses. So lots and lots of these rain flaps but what you have to understand and this is something that I've always complained about with bag companies who use these rain covers is that in terms of the benefit of them serving as a weatherproofing it's just not worth the cost of having to, to fight with them every time you try to get inside of your bag because you definitely fight with them. Um, they're just, it, they're in the way and they prevent the zippers from running smoothly when you have these rain covers. So um, what I've taken to doing is simply flipping them out of the way, which now makes it look kind of horrific. So it would have been better had I just simply had the option not to have the rain covers. I actually don't mind the look of zippers uh, going across the bag visibly. It doesn't bother me too much. And again, the utility of having zippers without any issue getting access to them and, and having them run smoothly throughout the bag. I go into and out of a bag so frequently and yet I so rarely am caught in the rain. And so, you know, I mean, geez, you're gonna go into and out of your bag at least three or four times a day. And unless you're cursed and you live in Seattle, you're probably not gonna have rain every single day. Sorry, Seattle, I didn't mean that, it's a beautiful city. All right, so rain covers or zipper covers, whatever you want to call them. Bummer, don't love them. The other piece is that I actually customized this to have a peel down front, which seemed like it would be a great idea. Well, the one problem you have with the peel down front is if you peel down, you want to be able to peel down so you have easy access to the organizer panel here. And yet this organizer panel is a bummer because it's so high up in the pack. As you can see here, looking at these from above, there's only an inch between the sort of the top roof of this compartment and the beginning of this organizer panel, which means it's near impossible. So let's just take, for example, I wanna put a pen into this pen slot here. I'm actually fighting with the roof of this compartment to get my pen in there. And then even worse, trying to get this thing out, huge hassle, right? An organizer panel, you wanna have it on the outside of your pack, just like this has, so that it's really easy to get access to but you want to make sure that you design it so that it's really easy to get access to the stuff that's in here. And so Rainmaker really hasn't done a great job here. If they could have just shifted it down about three or four inches, that would have made all the difference in the world. As it is with it being up so tight to the top here, I probably now would have preferred not to have had the zipper go down the side, not be a peel down, and just have it something that opens up across the top, right? So, oh well bummer that that's the case. Maybe on their next iteration, they will shift those organizer panels a little bit further down. The other piece that I did customize is having this pocket up here for my sunglasses. 
I think this is absolutely essential. And the beauty of this pack is that it has so much volume in this front compartment here. You can see when I turn on its side here, it's got a good three inches of volume coming out of the pack. So it doesn't have to share volume with the main compartment. It's just cavernous in there. It's really a beauty. So that means when I put my sunglasses into this area, which is not only at the top, but in the front, there's a lot of volume. It's gonna be really nicely protected here. Well, the one problem is, and you can't really see this very well, maybe you can see it here. You can see here that it's just sort of the inside nylon. I'm, I'm super happy that it's not just the other side of the Cordura. It's much nicer that there's a lining, but it would have been so sweet had they put that great corduroy inside lining that they put into the laptop compartment into this area as well. So I would have felt that my sunglasses would be a little bit more protected. Maybe that would be an option for them to customize in the future as well. All right, so let me flip this thing over and show you the next thing that I don't love about this pack, and that is the sternum strap. Um, now, I, I definitely want a sternum strap, don't get me wrong. I think sternum straps are essential, especially if you're somebody like me who sometimes has to run across campus to get to class. Uh, I want to have that extra stability of having my sternum strap keeping my load sort of centered over me. The problem with this sternum strap is that, notice that it's a piece of webbing, and most sternum straps actually have webbing, but there's a little bit of a piece of elastic here, which allows it to have some more give and flexibility. And the reason why that's important is as you're moving around, it actually allows you to sort of stretch your chest out a little bit and then collapse it down, stretch it, which is essentially what you're doing when you're running around with this pack on. So it feels a little bit restrictive when you have it tightened on there. And if you loosen it up too much, then you lose the, the sort of point of having a sternum strap, which is to keep the load sort of balanced and still on your body. So it would have been nice had they put the elastic in there. Now, I will tell you one thing that I've had packs after say two and a half, three years, where that piece of elastic has basically, because of UV, has broken down so that it no longer offers that. And then it's a huge bummer, right? It doesn't really serve any purpose then, but it's floppy and it's not as good as having uh, two pieces of webbing. So I don't know, maybe that is a trade-off, but I would have at least liked to have had the option to then switch it out later if I needed to. Right now, it's a pretty stiff sternum strap, okay? Um, all right, so let me uh, give you a tour of this bag and show you how I pack it up with the stuff that I use on a daily basis. And then I'll throw it on and I'll talk to you about uh, how well it carries its load. So I'm gonna start with the back here. So again, I always have to flip these rain covers or zipper covers out of the way. Also forgot I need to take off these compression straps, which are brilliant by the way. Those compression straps really allow you to slim down your pack when you're not carrying everything. Notice how easy it was for me just to open up the pack. I just sort of peeled it apart. And you can see here that because the zipper goes all the way down into the corners, it opens up wide beautifully, right? So it's really easy. Let me just make sure that you can see this whole pack. And I'm just gonna shift it in this direction a little bit here. All right, so here you can see that this is the tech zone, but in this area, and this is actually fortunate for the Rainmaker folks, they actually have included an organizer panel here. Um, and in fact, because the organizer panel on the front is so difficult to use, I've taken to using this as my organizer panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. Here's a file folder. You can see no problem fitting it. You could easily fit in a full size 12.9 inch iPad Pro into that area, although it's not padded. So that would be a little bit of a risk. And then I'll go ahead and slide my pen, my Apple Pencil into here. Um, oh. I forgot to take these out, so my cards I have in there. Don't even have anything. Oh no, I do put something in here. This is where I put my cell phone. So that's a. this is a um, 7 Plus, so you can see that a full-size iPhone fits in there without any problem. And then I'll shift this down to this end, and let's go and take a look over here. Um, this is where I would normally keep my 13-inch MacBook Pro. Oh shoot, I don't have that with me right now. It's upstairs, hold on, just a moment. Okay, I'm back with my 13-inch iPad Pro. Uh, this is the latest version, so it's a little bit trimmer than your 13 maybe. Fits in here, not a problem. I mean, you, this thing would fit a 15-incher easily. And this is the place, in fact, let me see if I can show this to you from above. You can see this is where it has that awesome corduroy. So fun. All right. All right, so this is where I put the tech stuff. So I'll go ahead and zip this back up. And without that zipper cover, 
these zippers are a breeze to use. It's only when you have the zipper covers that it suddenly becomes a huge pain in the tuchus. So let's now move into the main compartment. Again, flipping the zipper cover out of the way. This one uh, doesn't open quite as far because the I actually have this set. You could actually get this custom made to open up all the way, like a clamshell. Um, but I thought that it would be better to have the water bottle pockets, which, and those are mutually exclusive customizations. All right, so you can see here that I have Molly on the back, which I don't use. Another pocket here that I could use for file folders, or I could put my iPad in there if I so choose. And then on this side, I have two gaping giant size mesh pockets. Love mesh pockets, I think they're brilliant. So in the bottom one, I take my floss, meds, band-aids, etc., put that in the very bottom because I don't need it that often. I put my receipts bag in the top one. And I sometimes put like a, a thermos with um, my coffee in there. But in fact, let's see, oh, here it is. This is my favorite camera insert and this thing fits in there not a problem I can easily fit a micro four thirds body and a few lenses and not a problem it fits in fact this is such a great compartment because it's so squared off I mean that's the one thing it may not look that great to some of you but because it's so squared off every square inch becomes so easily usable also know that the bottom of this bag has a nice foam so that there's if you drop this bag and you have something in there like a camera it'll actually protect the camera to some degree all right, so this is all I keep in this main compartment, and sometimes I'll throw a, an extra layer or something in here or a, snacks or whatever, but right now it's completely empty. And let's then move to the pocket where I put my sunglasses. And I will throw my two bags, one that contains a whole bunch of dongles, just chuck it in there and one that contains a whole bunch of cables. Chuck that guy in there. I have my battery backup, so I throw that into the larger of the two pockets. You can see here, this is sort of largely unusable because of its proximity to the, to the roof of this section, as I talked, as I said before. Okay, and then this is, I love this pocket. This pocket here, the secret pocket that's just behind the back panel. This is where I always keep my wallet. You'll see in a moment why that's such a useful place for it. And then I will throw my water bottle in here. And then I'll go ahead and cinch this down. Remember, because I have very little in here, I can really tighten this right on down and trim up this pack tremendously because I really, there's no reason for me to have any, I have nothing in there. So I can flatten it up, make it nice and trim for myself. Okay, I'm gonna flip this guy back again. And then on the front here, or back depending on how you view this I can there are two plastic loops and I can connect my key back there and that has my ID attached to it my key so I can get into the office or classrooms all right so there it is it's all filled up and putting this guy on okay a little bit loose here but again, you sort of have to keep it loose, otherwise it becomes binding to you. So there you go. You can see that it's very comfortable to carry. It doesn't feel like there's any pinch points or discomfort here. It doesn't cut off circulation in any sort of way. Very comfortable. I don't use these load lifters. Um, haven't really felt the need to, and I'm not sure how much they would really do. Uh, so you can see here from the back, very rectangular, obviously. The other side here. It does carry things beautifully, and, and of course, I'm not even, this thing isn't even as packed out as much as it could be. Um, so perhaps I'm not giving it a, a, enough of a test here. But this is what I carry uh, on a daily basis. I maybe will add a couple things here and there, um, but this is about it. It does a superb job, folks. And another thing you should understand is that this thing is built like a tank. The Cordura material, this is 1000 denier Cordura, so it is not going to fall apart. This thing I'll be able to pass down to my son. Um, and it's really, I, I think that it's manufactured incredibly well too. The stitching is beautifully beautiful. The, the whole thing is put together incredibly well. Clearly it was all done by hand with a lot of thought and time. Um, so there you have it. Love this bag. And uh, in fact, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe 
giving it a shot again and doing another custom bag and seeing if they will build one for me without the rain flaps. And if that's the case, then this thing will be the best pack that I've ever reviewed for sure. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot to show you guys something that I was um, that is one of the best parts of this bag. Remember how I showed you where I put my wallet? And that is in this area here, in the back panel here. So when you put this on, like so, and you need to get access to your wallet, you don't have to take your bag off because you can just take off the left shoulder strap, do the, one of these things, and then you can unzip this little secret pocket here, grab out your wallet, pay, put your wallet back in, zip it back off, zip it back up, and then throw on the shoulder strap, like so, and you're on your way. So, awesome. I love that feature. All right, still love this bag. Bye. Take a look at my other videos. And, um, oh, you should know that I am actually going to, in, in the next video, I'm going to review this guy. You can't see it all. You can only see half of it. This is the Green Room 136 Metro Monger. It's a crossbody bag. Um, and it is pretty small, so it's not going to be a substitute for this daily carry, but certainly it's something that could be used as a daily carry on weekends, maybe, if all you're doing is quickly going to the coffee shop and maybe you have just some work to do on your computer and that's it. So I'll be putting that in the next video. Be on the lookout for that one. Otherwise, take a look at my other videos as well as maybe even consider subscribing right there. Thanks, folks. Talk to you all soon.